hello everyone and welcome to a, a new discussion which we are uh, it is going to be little brief discussion but uh, i thought that uh, i would discuss completely separately uh, this uh, uh, this topic which is transmissibility uh, because it is another important uh, parameter in case of groundwater situations and uh, how it varies with the different conditions so if we see the transmissibility which is denoted here with the t that is the at the rate the rate at which water of a prevailing density and viscosity is transmitted through a unit width of an aquifer or confined bed under a unit hydraulic gradient so that this is the rate of the water in a whatever the conditions density and viscosity which is transmitted through a unit width of an aquifer or confining bed under a unit hydraulic gradient so the unit of transmissibility we consider as cubic meter per day per meter so this can be converted to meter square per day now as we know that this is a, a function of properties of the liquid because in the definition we have considered density and viscosity prevailing density and viscosity so this is the property of the liquid the porous media through which the water will flow and the thickness of the porous media that it might be aquifer thickness so it depends on these three thing this function uh, is depending on three things the uh, uh, the properties of the liquid the porous media and the thickness of the porous media now this uh, uh, transmissibility or in some time in literature you may find another term which is transmissivity is a basically a property closely related to hydraulic conductivity and that hydraulic conductivity describes the capacity of a specific water bearing unit might be an aquifer of a given thickness as such as an aquifer to transmit water to allow water through this uh, whatever the thickness is available so transmissibility is the most simply defined as an effective hydraulic conductivity of an aquifer which is multiplied by the thickness of the aquifer so here k multiply by b uh, can be denoted as or can be called as transmissibility so the hydraulic conductivity k is a fundamental uh, parameter that governs the flow of groundwater through an aquifer now specifically the hydraulic conductivity is a quantity quantitative measure of the capacity of geologic formation to transmit water that means that it depends on the whatever the different types of geologic formations are there in most of the cases the geologic formations becomes very important in case of groundwater flow because in uh, if i just give a comparison between sedimentary rocks and igneous or metamorphic rocks when geologic formation is changing their capacity will also change and hence the hydraulic conductivity and consequently transmissibility will also will affect so this is determined by the characteristics of both the porous medium and the fluid of interest in our case fluid of interest is of course water and its uh, uh, density and uh, viscosity is uh, in depending on in which conditions otherwise uh, it may be not much varying but uh, this porous medium definitely will vary uh, place to place uh, in uh, uh, both in directions that means in horizontal space as well as in vertical space so this uh, uh, the coefficient of permeability Uh, which defines the capacity of a unit cube unit cube of material to transmit water so now we are coming in a 3d flow kind of thing so when we are calculating the amount of water moving through an aquifer it is uh, necessary to include aquifer thickness because that is very very important as we have also seen in earlier discussion that like in unconfined aquifer conditions the aquifer thickness varies as the pumping happens but in confined aquifer conditions uh, the aquifer thickness uh, will remain same that is means basically the saturated uh, thickness of uh, an aquifer or rock formation so the product of this uh, coefficient of uh, 
permeability and the q for thickness which we have already discussed that is k multiplied by b defines the capacity of a unit prism of an aquifer to transmit water and uh, this is important part of many groundwater investigations which consist of determining the capacity of aquifer to transmit water because there might be aquifer but what is the capacity of uh, allowing water to flow through it whatever the saturated thickness or aquifer thickness so this is important uh, from groundwater point of view or and the efficiency of well of a well point of view this is very important to understand and uh, drive or get these values about the transmissibility so transmissibility or flow and uh, that is cubic meter per day per meter then it it, it becomes uh, square meter per day through a section of aquifer of 1 meter wide under a hydraulic gradient of unity is sometimes used as a convenient quantity in calculation of groundwater flow instead of hydraulic conductivity and this uh, transmissivity t or transmissibility and the coefficient of permeability are that is k are related as uh, t that is transmissibility equal to k multiply by b very simple relation is there that transmissibility will depend on the permeability and also the aquifer thickness so b is the saturated thickness of an aquifer so in case of uh, confined aquifer conditions the b will not change it is constant but in case of unconfined aquifer conditions and uh, the b will vary so this kb k multiply by b that is uh, permeability multiply by uh, aquifer thickness some also referred as coefficient of transmissibility so k multiply by b then we can write t equal to kb and where b is the saturated thickness of the aquifer so that if we put a, this thing in darcila then q that is discharge equal to t that is transmissibility w hl upon l so w is of course the breadth of the aquifer so this will give us Uh, the discharge that uh, how transmissibility is related in and uh, such situations and uh, uh, these hl upon l will also play important role there so with this uh, i complete this uh, very brief discussion on transmissibility which is very very important uh, that uh, how the water is being allowed to flow through an aquifer especially the saturated part of an aquifer so uh, thank you very much